What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. Our 2020 roster previews continue with the Tennessee Volunteers. This is NCAA Football 14 again with updated rosters for the upcoming 2020 college football season. But we call it NCAA Football 21 because that's what it will be called if there was a game. Unfortunately, there is no game, but we are keeping uh, the college football game alive, updating the rosters. Also, we're going to have updated dynasties where you can play through the 2020 schedule uh, and get some other updates as well. can even do the playoff mod. If you want to get all that, just join us on Patreon. Link is down in the description of this video. Before we get into the roster preview, just wanted to quickly tell you how all of you can help out with these rosters and help them help us to make them as accurate as possible. Uh, if there are number changes for players, if there are incorrect years that you see on this roster, please let us know. Uh, you know, some of these rosters we started doing back before even the spring rosters had been released, so some of the freshmen didn't have numbers yet, and we're just going to go back and do those later. Or maybe some players changed their numbers. Maybe a, a guy got redshirted last year and we missed that, and we've got him as a senior, and actually they're a redshirt junior or something along those lines. So if you see any of that, you can help us out there. Also, players that are no longer on the roster, maybe players that transferred uh, that we had not taken off yet, you can remind us of those players, which, of course, I'm always checking the transfer portal. At, you know, I'll come back and, and get that anyways. But it would just help out if, if you know, something is, is put out there for us to make sure we don't miss it, a player that maybe has transferred or a player that is not really expected to play much, not really on the two deep if they're a, an upperclassman. Uh, we'll probably take those guys off the rosters and just tell us who you think they should be replaced with. Uh, who do you think should be on this roster that is not? Uh, if it's a if it's a young player, a freshman, maybe they don't play, but they're still going to stay on the roster because you got to have those young players. Uh, the ratings are pretty much set, though. We have a specific formula that we use that's based off of a bunch of different numbers, stats. Uh, we use NFL Draft Scout for 40 times. If it's not if a player's not on there, we use their recruiting rating. Uh, a lot of different things. I'm not going to get into all of that, but those are pretty much set. You can make suggestions if you think a guy should go up or down if you'd like, but they're probably not going to change at least until the depth charts come out because at that point we will we will make some adjustments we're not going to have a, a backup running back rated higher than a starting running back obviously that would make no sense so there could be a little bit of adjustments there also when the all conference all american teams are announced we may tweak some players uh, in the, in those cases as well but for the most part uh, it's all based off of this formula heights and weights don't worry don't worry about that we will come back and we will get all of those when the fall rosters are released because those numbers can change anyway so there's no point in trying to update that and then it changes again uh, so we'll knock that out once the fall rosters come out uh, but if you have any help here if you you know you guys follow your team closer than anyone if this is your team you probably know a little bit more about them than i do um, and maybe you know some things that i just have missed or, or whatever you can help us make these rosters as accurate as possible by giving us this information uh, i'll be constantly coming back and uh, checking these comments uh, when i see something that jumps out i'll make a note and when i get back on that team i will uh, make the adjustments and uh, you will again have a chance to get these rosters even if you jo don't join us on patreon of course if you join us on patreon you can get these rosters right now you can get all the updates and i really would encourage you to do that just to help us to kind of speed up this process with a little bit of funding but if, if you can't that's fine we will probably more than likely i'm gonna release we're going to release these rosters uh once they're complete so it may be august or whatever but we will give them out for free at some point and also you can just help us to make sure our simulations are as accurate as possible as we begin to ramp those up as well but if you can if you have any information here uh, please feel free to comment down below and give us any updates that we need to make all right here are the top players for the tennessee volunteers you see their top player is trey smith a 96 overall of course he's dealt with the uh, the health issues and uh, it's good to see him back out there as far as i know he is good to go for the 2020 season uh, and he is very very talented 96 overall uh, henry tuoto is their top player on defense he's a 90 overall at middle linebacker ty chandler leading that running back group he's an 89 overall you see some pretty talented players on this tennessee team darnell wright 89 and then wanya morris He's an 88. You got three really talented offensive linemen. That's something that they've done a really good job in recruiting the last couple of years. Uh, I believe Wright and Morris, yeah, they are both sophomores. They are both five-star recruits, uh, and they are looking to 
to boost a really good run game this year. Uh, on the defensive side, you go to Emmett Gooden. Gooden, he's an 88 overall. Emerson, 87. Bumpus, 86. Solomon, 86. And Matthew Butler, 85. So some very talented defensive linemen as well. So they're strong on both sides of the line. I think Jeremy Pruitt, and that's probably the way he wants to build this team. And that's how you, you know, you used to say that's how you win in the SEC. You got to be good on the offensive line and defensive lines. Maybe things have changed a little bit in the last few years, but still it is very, very important. All right, quarterbacks now. Jared Guarantano, he is an 82 overall. The freshman Harrison Bailey is a 78. Kasim Hill is a 76. I've heard he's moved to wide receiver, but he was, when I did the Tennessee roster, he was listed as a quarterback. I'm not sure what we're going to see there. JT Shroud is a 71. I actually meant to put Brian Maurer on here and take Shroud off. Uh, whenever I added, actually, when I added Bailey on there, I, I meant to, to switch those out. And I put Shroud on instead of Maurer. If you get the updated roster, if you join us on Patreon, uh, Maurer will be the quarterback, not Shroud. Uh, so keep that in mind. And if, if Hill does wind up switching positions or transfers or if one of these other guys transfer, we'll have. Now they're going to have four quarterbacks, I think, on the roster no matter what. And it just matters. It just depends on which guys are still. I thought for sure one or two of these guys would transfer out of there. Um, but they they stall, stuck in there so far. But Guarantano figures to be the starter for them. Bailey may be the future. Ty Chandler, again, 89 at running back. You got Eric Gray at 81. Tim Jordan, 79. Phil Zame, 73. And Jabari Small, freshman. He's a 70 overall. Wide receivers, you got Josh Palmer, 83. They had some pretty talented guys at wide receiver last year that they're going to miss. Brandon Johnson, he's an 82. D'Angelo Gibbs, who I believe used to play defensive back, he's an 81. Uh, Keaton is an 80. Weidman is 79. Hyatt, 78. Callaway, 76. Millis Jones, Jr., 71. I believe he transferred from USC. And then Cedric Tillman, a 66. And I, I say I believe or I think because – when you go through so many players and, and so much information, it's very easy to make a mistake or, or remember something wrong. Uh, but I am almost positive he transferred from USC. Unless I'm just uh, remembering that wrong. But Jackson Lowe is 73 at tight end. Beckwith, 72. And Austin Pope, a 70. Offensive line again, strength of this team. Wani Morrison, 88. Amir Johnson, 71. Left guard, Trey Smith, 96. Best player on the team. And don't know how to say his name, but he's a 69. Brandon Kennedy is an 83. And then you've got Cooper Mays, 76, true freshman. Jerome Carbon, an 80. Locklear, a 75. And then Darnell Wright, 89. Calvert, 77. So I'm going to go back. I believe all of their offensive linemen were at least an 80. Yes, all of their offensive linemen, at least an 80. That's a good sign if you're a Tennessee fan. A lot of teams that have struggled have struggled because their offensive lines have struggled. I don't think that's going to be the case for Tennessee this year. Bumpus, 86. Middleton, 70. Mincy, 69. And Blakely is a 69 as well. Right defensive end, right left. Really doesn't matter. Uh, but Aubrey Solomon, 86. And then you got Matthew Butler in 85. If you're filling out a depth chart, you probably put Butler as the backup on both, both sides of the defensive line. Uh, Savion Williams, a senior. He's a 72. Defensive tackles. There's Gooden at 88, Emerson 87, Thomas 78, Garland 78, Simmons 70, and Kingston Harris a 68. Linebacker Bennett is an 80, Joseph Freshman, he's a 74. Tooto is a 90, Peterson an 81, and Whitehead a 74. And then on the other side, Varis Crouch, a sophomore, he's an 81. DeAndre Johnson 76, Harrison 72, and Jordan Allen a 72 as well. Moving on to the secondary now, Alante Taylor in 84. We've also got Bryce Thompson in 82. Sean Schamberger, he is a 79. Uh, Balaam Buchanan, 78. George, 75. Burrell, 71. And Beatsley, a 71. Free safety, Theo Jackson, 81. Trayvon Flowers, 76. And Labruza, 70. And then there is Jayla McCullough, 85. A strong safety, Keyshawn Lawrence, 79. Fields, a 74. Kicker is Brent uh, Samaglia. <laughs> if I can get the name right there. He's an 85, but we have not finalized the ratings for kickers and punters. Uh, still was kind of tweaking my formula, so you might expect to see his, his rating go up a little bit. Uh, same thing here with Paxton Brooks. He's a 79 overall punter. Uh, but again, you look at this Tennessee team. I mean, they're built to win. They're built to win. 
uh, the way you would expect an SEC team to be built. Do they have the depth to get it done right now? I don't know. Depth is still, I think, an area of concern for them. What does it come down to, really? It's probably going to come down to the quarterback position. Jarek Guarantano, how good will he play this season? If you're going to be successful in today's college football, you've got to be able to score points. You've got to be able to win shootouts. Are they going to be able to do that? That's the big question, and I think that's going to determine if Tennessee can play with the Floridas and Georgias uh, in college football or are they still going to be just kind of mediocre, make a bowl game, but not really challenge uh, in the SEC East. Again, going back to the roster, though, if you saw anything that was incorrect, anything that needs fixing, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. We want to make these rosters as accurate as possible. If you want to work with us one-on-one -on, -one on this Tennessee roster, join us on Patreon. We'll, I'll talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, um, and we can discuss some things, and, and I'll take your input. Uh, and if you want to just get these rosters to play with, also, you can join us on Patreon. Just $5 a month is all it costs to get um, the rosters at the lowest tier that we have, but it will get you the rosters and some other things as well. Check it out, Patreon.